microchip. The microchip ain't the mark of the beast. The name of the Lord is not important. You follow niggas like that, man. They have no faith, man. Okay? Shalom, shalom, brother. Right? Shalom. Yeah, they have no faith, man. No faith, man. See? Go ahead. And, and guess what? When all hell break loose, uh, them people in their congregation, they're going to jump ship. They're going right. to try to go to the real men of the law, but it's going to be too late for a lot of you as well, man. Right. All right? Because a lot of you guys are scoffers and your mockers. All right? And a lot of you just straight up and down, man, please. Mm -hmm. Con, con. All right? Go ahead. Verse 2. Second Ezra 5 and 2. But iniquity shall be increased. Oh, well, well, you all we all see that. We got the first training, I think, on one of them sports magazines. So I'm saying, you know, man, iniquity is high right now, man. That's right. Okay, this whole Baphomet system, everything is, is just confused. Everything is intertwined, man. God, you don't know God. who's who anymore, man. Yeah. See? Confusion, man. It's confusion, man. Iniquity shall increase, man. All right? Okay. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, or that thou hast heard long ago. Yeah. So, Babylon, man, is a cohesion of all those wicked empires in one. Okay? As the spirit of the Greeks, the spirit of the Romans, the spirit of the Assyrians, they were into cross dressing as well. The spirit of um, ancient Babylon and their gods. Okay? Ceramicists. Also goes into Isis, also goes to Ashtaroth, the Queen of Heaven spirit. Okay? That's why a lot of you, you celebrate your, uh, your mother's day, man. You celebrate um, um, Easter, that goes back to Ceramicists, man. Babylon. You celebrate Christmas, that goes back to Babylon, man. You see? Okay? They worship what? Well, Molech over there at the Bohemian Grove. That goes back to the ancient Canaanite gods, man. Right. All right. All these these um these um these rituals that they do behind closed doors. Right. A lot of those rituals go back to Egypt. That's why you have the pyramid with the All Sinai. You have the Obelix in Washington D.C. That's America, Babylon. Okay. Well, when you read the scriptures, this place is going into perdition. In fact, let's read that Revelation 17. St. John the Revelation is going to expound on the point that we just is going through. Man. God. Revelation 17. I'm going to start at verse 1. God. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vows and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. It's our nation. Why well, she's a whore? Because everybody come here and use her. Yeah. The land of opportunity. Right? Well, it was once upon a time, not anymore. That's right. Everybody trying to jump ship, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And you see a lot of them countries don't want America there no more um, due to this whole COVID-19 thing. Because it's, it's the, the so-called surge again. Okay? A lot of countries, if you want to go travel, you have to have, you have to submit a test result 72 hours before. Okay. Verse 2 With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk With the wine of her fornication Wine of her fornication, a philosophy Whatever little morality people have From these other countries When they come in, they lose it Okay Because Esau has given you the license to commit iniquity Alright He has given you the license to sin Okay uh, verse 3 So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast Full of names of blasphemy There you go, there you go it's Like we just went through the different idols And the different forms of worship That come from these different empires that's here He's looking at it right now, read it again Verse 3 So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast Full of names of blasphemy Blasphemy, man yeah. Having seven heads and ten horns. Like seven, um, ten horns to ten common structures that made up NATO. NATO and and seven words. heads, seven power structures going into the Greeks, the Romans, the Brits, the Spaniards, the 
French. Jermaine Minor. Jermaine, yeah, Jermaine Minor, Jermaine Major. Major. Man. See, that's the seven heads, man. Right? And he said what? She was full of what? Blasphemy, man. Mm -hmm. Everything here is blasphemous, man. Gone. And of course, you have what? Cesare Borgia, the white Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That's supreme blasphemy. That's right. That's what scripture says of... Um, they dead bodies on the street, which is scripture called Sodom, Sodom and Egypt. Egypt. Well, also our Lord was crucified. That's right. Meaning what? He was crossed out. Okay? And they put their image up and said that he's God, man. You see? That's right. Call on him, la yaha ba shumya al shah, we walk up to this thing. Right? Con, con. You know what I mean? Because I'm looking at niggas right now, walking up and down. You can't even see their face anymore. They just walked out, man. That clown right there. Yeah, yeah. Damn clown. That's the average. That's the uh, state of our people, man. Just a circus act, man. And that's how Esau look at you anyway. Bounce the ball, you know, entertainment. Sing that song for me, boy. Yeah, right? Yeah. Make, make niggas just shuck and drive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Singing, singing and dancing. Shooting a basketball or throwing a football. That's all Esau see you as. Yeah. The minute you start speaking out and hoping this boat and going into that book, nigga, you are out of your mind. We don't pay you for that. You better go out there and apologize. Yes, master. Yes, yes. See? You niggas are weak, man. Uh. Okay, you don't want to stand for nothing, man. That's what the most high gonna get rid of you, man. What are you saying? Right. Now I'm gonna say they, they don't want to stand for nothing, so they're gonna fall for anything, man. Good. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Nick Cannon, he wanna um he wanna I don't even know he posted, they say he posted anti, you know, Semitic posts, whatever, he posted something, then he apologized for it. He still got his ass taken up via um uh, via car, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like, he saw all he wants you to do is play basketball for him, entertain him, you know, rap, sing, dance, he don't want you to pick up a book, he don't want you to read, he don't want you to study, to know who you are. And um if Nick Cannon would actually brought up the facts instead of him just saying it, you know what I'm saying? That already hurt him. You know and all Nick Cannon had to do, like we said, was post the link. Yeah, post the link, man. Yeah, like these are the real teachers of our people. Shalom. Be That's, out. It. That's, That's it. it. That's it. That's it. That's it, man. Then Esau would be like, Nick Cannon posting this crazy. Who are these guys that stand in third? You see what I'm saying? But Nick Cannon, man, see, you you taking on something that got nothing to do with you. And now, like we said, Matthew 18 and 7, when you speak the truth, Yahweh Shai said this best. Let's read Matthew 18 and 7. Done. Matthew 18 and verse 7. Woe unto the world because of offenses. Woe unto the world. Destruction unto the world because of offenses, man. Right? People are going to be bothered. They're going to be agitated. Okay? They're going to be upset when you bring it out. It's going to happen. Happened to Yahweh Shai many times. Many times they wanted to kill him, man. Many times they wanted to lay hands on him. We just heard Matthew 21. He was cutting their ass that whole chapter. All right? And then he said, for them idiots in the eyes you became, he said the baptism of John, whether it's of the most high, was it of men? And they, they stopped, they reasoned, and said, well, if we say of men, then the people are going to look at us funny. And if we say of the most high, then he's going to say, well, why did you listen? Mm. You see? And then right after that, the truth said they wanted to lay hands on him, but they couldn't because the people were there, man. Mm -hmm. So he was cutting them with the truth, man. So Yahweh Shai said, what? Read that. Matthew 18 and verse 7 Woe unto the world because of offenses For it must needs be that offenses come It must needs be that offenses come So people are going to get offended That's right Period That's what the Bible is also called The sword of truth man. Uh huh It's a sword man That's right It's not only a comforter It's also a sword man mm -hmm. Alright Matter of fact let's hold that Hebrews 4 and 12 Let's read that real quick Real real quick Come, come. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12 For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword Read that again Verse 12, Hebrews 4 and 12 For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword it's Sharper than any two-edged sword It's sharper than any sword, any instrument man. Because it just it doesn't cut your flesh, it cuts your spirit man. Mm -hmm. So Esau was cut when them Jakes posted the truth. He was cut. As if it didn't bother him, it was just some bogus lie. I think you give a damn about that, man. You think if Nick Cannon said something about the um, the Asians are inferior to us, you think Esau would go buck wild like that? 
they're probably reprimanding him and telling him, listen, you shouldn't be saying that. Mm-hmm. Is he would have still kept his job. Uh, yeah, if he had a job. still kept his job, man. They probably just smack him on the wrist, listen, you shouldn't be saying that about Chinese people. You know, they got offended. See what I'm saying? But when he started saying about Amalek, you ain't the real Jew, we the real Jew. You know what I mean? And, and he's he's in our birthright, which he's not in our birthright. He's in his blessing. So I'm saying we have the birthright. That's something that they can't get. Okay, we got the inheritance, man. Is Esau is in his blessing? Right. When you read Genesis 27 chapter, he's also he also got blessed, man. Yeah. He also will inherit the fatness of the earth, but he had to do it through the sword. Yeah. He had to take it by force. The Heavenly Father's gonna give us everything anyway, man. You don't gotta take shit. The world belongs to us anyway. He right. said the world was created for our sake. Mm-hmm. We don't gotta pick up a sword and do nothing. Man. Right? Our people can't wait, man. That's what you niggas sell out. Because you were impatient. Yeah, yeah, no patience, man. You was gonna get that anyway mm-hmm. on the next side, man. Okay, you was gonna get get cars, you was gonna get different chariots, man. Different planetary systems, man. Fame, variety, woman, everlasting life. Different minerals and different treasures, man. Okay? You guys talk about uh, peace amongst blacks and Hispanics. You going, you was going to have that anyway, man. That was coming anyway, man. Okay? But we had to wait. Right. All right? Wait on the Lord. Oh, yeah. So read like you said. Down. Oh, yeah. You read on down? Come on. Read it on down. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. So the scripture cuts your soul and your spirit. Like we say, Esau right now, he's cut. Right? This, this, this Bible laid a fatal wound on him. Mm-hmm. It hurt his pride. Mm-hmm. All right? You unmask it. That's right. You see? Now you're starting to see his horns now, man. Uh-huh. And it, it cuts him so bad that he's going to come down on the brothers, man. Yeah. Or try to frame us like he was trying to do last year. And that's how everything is leading. That's what everything is leading up to. Right. You know? Us being in the limelight and stuff like that, they gonna they soon the insurrection, man, a violent uprising, man, against yeah. those that figure how about you shop. Yeah, you yeah. been in the Lord, man. Yeah, because he he did that um, last year with them two bogus jersey shooting, and, and the suspect always died. Talking about some, it was a four hour shootout with an ATF, the FBI, SWAT. Why? Come on, four man. hours to take yeah. out one person. Yeah, one we had where his girl was, I guess, behind him. And he he was shooting. That nigga has to be an excellent marksman to, to back down these different and groups. Ammo. Yeah. He had ammunition for four hours. For four hours. Come, Come on, on. Esau, who, man. Who, who, who you fooling? And they say he, he, he had a bomb in his this van that could level five football fields. The whole shit was just so crazy, man. And then they had the other Jake, which, which we said he didn't do it. We've been saying he didn't do it. They said it stabbed up those different Amalekites, right? And you could tell the guy's countenance. He don't even know what's going on. He's like, he didn't like do it. He yeah, took him from insane asylum and said, and, and that's lock a, him up." And that's exactly what they said on the case. The update. The update is they said he's unfit for trial, so we have to put him in a psych ward. Like that's what you got him in the first place, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He didn't. He, that guy didn't do that, man. The minute you see that guy, you're like, "Come on, man. Come on." You could you could have got Jam Master J or somebody uh, to, to fill that role, man. You got some Jake don't even look like he didn't even know his own name, man. See, but that's the devil right there, man. All right, that's how you know he hurt, man. He's, He's hurt, hurt, man. You see, and he's sloppy right now too. And, and with the whole Jersey certain too shooting, it was brought out that they were doing false flags in that same area for five yeah, straight yeah, years, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. See how the spirit revealed everything. And actors and all of that. Yeah, acting actors. like they were dead crisis yeah. actors. Yeah. Okay, that was a false flag, man. And that's another thing you can't put your titles either on. So the word false flag, because any little um, shooting now, when you put false flag, you two, um pull it down. Pull it down. That's people been exposing that, man. That's yeah. that's what the Bible calls Second Corinthians two and eleven. No, 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 no. That is the device of the devil, but there's um. Ignore his devices, but it tells you in Ephesians the sixth chapter about the wiles of the devil. Mm-hmm. Ephesians six and verse eleven. I'm sorry, at ten. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The tricks of the devil. That's the that that whole thing that he did against us last year, right? That was the wiles of the devil, man. 
right? But through the power of Yahweh Hashem Al Shah, brothers seen through that so easily, man. And we know for a fact that he planted something even greater. Yep. You know, planted something even bigger than what it was last year. He's gonna plant he planted something right now. Yeah. That's why you keep seeing the Sean the Sean Jackson, Nick Cannon, Ice Cube, and all the different celebrities you're talking about the Hebrew Israelites, they're saying the black Hebrew Israelites. Stuff like that. Uh, you got uh, a what's this guy name? N NFAC guy, Jam Master yeah, J. Yeah, not him too. Talking about you know by the strength of Yahweh, and you 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 against the tribes, all twelve of them. I'm like, nigga, stick to your black revolutionary bullshit. Man. That's how you know he don't even know. Yeah, he, he don't, don't know, know nothing. No, nothing. They just probably said they said you mentioned Israelites, mentioned twelve tribes. Yeah. Mention you know mention Yahweh. Yahweh. You know what I'm mentioned, saying? You got to say Edomites. Make sure you say Edomites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ran up on a, a white dude said. Um, whereas give me back my reparation. Some random Edomite don't know what's going on. Tell my where's my reparation? You an Edomite anyway. I'm like, yo, man. I'm like, come on, man. See, this guy is a. That, 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 read that precept again. Come on. Ephesians six and verse eleven. Put on the whole armor of the Most High. So brother's supposed to be girded with the truth. Man. Yeah.